you're starting to build up and you're getting more followers and so forth. And then in 2018, you, you dropped your book. Doom, doom, doom. Judge, the, judge this cover. Judge and, it. And, you know, but a naked. lot of people kind of, uh, right, you're, you're <laughs> naked on the cover and the back cover. The back cover was nice, uh, though. We really yep. put an apple in my crack. Not really? Photoshop. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of people really looked at this book like, okay, this is essentially what Corinne Steffens had done and so forth. But what was different about your book is that you, you, you listed out seven men that you had relationships with, but you didn't actually put their names in. Correct. Because where's was the there fun a reason in why, why you didn't name the actual names? It's irrelevant. I felt like the story was relevant. And of course, there is that salacious marketing that I've, I've leaned into because why wouldn't I do that? Um, but yeah, I feel like the, the message would have been missed if there was the identity was disclosed. Like, there's no fun in that. And I think, too, people like a little mystery. They want to be able to figure it out and do all their research. So I, all, of the, I, all of those names are fake, and they spell out the one thing they have in common, which is selfish. Everybody Got missed it. that, though, but I just like doing little stuff like that, and nobody caught on to that, though. Okay, and, you know, when I was looking up this book, there's, a, there's an audible version of it, and there's a, a paperback version of it, but no ebook. And I guess you put it out independently? I did. There should be uh, an ebook available, but, hmm. Mm -mm. No, not on Amazon, at least. Maybe some other services. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but I did the audio in my book as well. Right. So go check I mean, that out on putting, Amazon.com. There you go. You know, in terms of financially with this book, putting it out independently, because it seemed like, I don't know how many copies it sold, but it got a lot of reviews on Amazon. So it seems like you did pretty well with it. I did. Okay. Was that kind of like your biggest payday at that point in terms of your, your career, your independent career? Without a doubt. And I really, it, I put my book on Amazon and then the way the numbers work too, I mean, I was really in a, in a generation where people don't read, thousands of people bought my book. And nice. those thousands of people that bought my book, they're the people who are defending me in the comments on Twitter or whatever, because they know that my book is nothing like people run with. It's not like that. I, like I said, for me, I saw, I read Superhead's book when I was in college. And I loved her work. And when you hear her speak, she's very intelligent. Mm -hmm. I felt like, why name, the, why name the people when you can still tell the story and use media where it is today? Which is, you can either say a blasphemous lie or a secretive truth. And as long as you throw allegedly in front of it, you're okay. So why would I not play into that? Like, I, I would never... I've signed NDAs before. Those NDAs mean nothing because no one was named. So there's ways around it if you just know how to play your cards right. And I mean, one of the people that I wrote about, <laughs> he told me that um, he read his chapter from front to back and was just looking for any little thing that would say it was him so he could sue me for it. And he was like, I found nothing. And I'm like, it's because the book, it wasn't, it wasn't about that. It was, there was no ill intentions behind it. It was just my story. You were a big part of it. Here we are. Okay, so you're telling me that guys that you end up getting involved with, they actually have you sign a, a non-disclosure agreement. In the past, the I've signed NDAs. Really? Okay. Was that weird in the beginning? Yeah, because I'm just like, uh... Okay, like if, if you feel that I need to sign something, then you most likely shouldn't be around me. I'm just, you know, not the best at math, but something's not adding up here. You know, why are you sticking your dick in me if you want me to sign a piece of paper? Because this piece of paper doesn't, again, in where media is today, that piece of paper means nothing. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could only sue someone that has tons and tons of money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you don't, if you don't have millions of dollars, and you know, I'm talking about back then, I don't know where you are right now, but mm -hmm. essentially an NDA only works well with other rich people. <laughs> you yeah. see what I'm saying? And at the time so I was just, like, yeah. yeah, I was just getting kind of like, I was maybe three or four years into Instagram, still learning the business, like 
certainly wasn't on that level financially to where it would have been beneficial to try to sue me. Like, <laughs> it would have cost yeah. more to take me to court and all that other stuff, you know? <laughs> exactly. I mean, and speaking of money, I mean, you said that you, you've made tons of money, but you've also blown t- tons of money. I have. Okay. Guilty as What charged. do you think was... Like, what was some of your, you know, when you look back on it, like your stupidest purchases, like, I I can't believe I actually spent all that money on that. Red bottoms for sure. Okay. (laughs) I've always, I mean, when I was even in high school, I'm like, I I swear, if I just had like a nude pair, a white and a black pair of red bottoms, I would be the happiest woman. (laughs) Like, because, you know, we grew up, we didn't have money like that. So red bottoms always symbolize, symbolize a lot to me. So I feel like I spent a lot of money on red bottoms that I ended up giving away to my friends and stuff. Um, But I mean, I feel like just really careless with it, just going out to eat all the time, not really having intentions on saving. So it's like, I have it, I can go spend a thousand dollars at Sephora. And it's not that I wouldn't need a thousand dollars worth of makeup, but I feel like now I'm just more strategic with how I spend my money and like, and why, what, like, do I really need three different eyebrow pencils? Probably not. So that's just kind of where I'm at now where I'm just like, okay, make it make sense. <laughs> 